Oscar-flicious. I recently put out a poll on the YouTube channel and the most requested video was for the quickest ways to improve. Thankfully, I've been working on some things that I think will help you guys out and get your skills up to where you want them to be much quicker. Most of what it takes to get good at PUBG is a lot of mechanical skill and for me, I looked everywhere I could to find opportunities to improve those skills even outside of the game itself. But now that we have more tools than ever, I think getting good at PUBG or trying to improve can now be done quicker than ever before. The first thing we need to talk about is Team Deathmatch. This is far and away the fastest way to get into gunfights with other players. I know for myself, I've already seen a decent improvement when I play a couple of rounds of Team Deathmatch before I jump into the Battle Royale. Make sure though that you're utilizing the different loadouts from time to time so you're getting practice with each of the different weapon types. One big thing I'd like to encourage though is to remove some of the attachments from the assault rifles at the beginning of each respawn. This way, you're getting a feel of how these guns handle without all the extra assistance from things like the grips and the compensators that are offered on these weapons. I find the best way to get the most out of this method is to choose the AKM loadout since you only have to remove the compensator when you spawn. My next tip was something I spent a lot of time doing myself and it really improved my overall aim and mouse handling and that was a website called aimbooster.com. This website offers a lot of different training modes but I often find myself just doing the challenge mode. Here you'll be tested to see how long you can last by clicking each of the targets before they disappear but you can only miss three of them or else you'll have to start over. I know when I started I could barely make it past 30 seconds but after a while I was able to last longer and longer with ease. Something that's fairly important is to make sure that your mouse sensitivity while you're on your desktop is similar or as close as possible to your in-game sensitivity. This will make sure that you're committing the right muscle memory to your movements. One thing I always enjoy doing is to try and do a challenge or two while I'm in the lobby waiting to board the plane. And last but not least, this is easily the oddest and probably the most counterproductive tip, but I assure you it's a solid and healthy thing to do from time to time, and that is to play other first person shooters. Because PUBG is a bit of a slower paced game, it's good to keep your responsiveness and overall skill up whenever you can. Especially on nights when the servers are down for maintenance, I would suggest picking up other shooters in your Steam library, or if you're looking for one that you can pick up, you can never go wrong with Counter-Strike Global Offensive. It doesn't require a powerful machine to run, and the best part, it's free. And as always, I hope you guys find these tips helpful, and if you have any questions or tips yourself, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thank you as always, and feel free to subscribe so you don't miss more videos like these.